The Kepler satellite has identified 2,000 planets orbiting other star systems. So tonight, when you look at the night sky, realize that somebody could be looking back at you. Now, if there is a life form out there, they could be literally millions of years ahead of us. The universe is 13.7 billion years old, so a million years is nothing compared to the age of the universe. And for the most part, I think they're going to be friendly. But if, but if they are hostile, it would be like Bambi meeting Godzilla if we ever had to fight them. Why? Why do you say that? <laughs> well, so realize that if they're that advanced, they can reach the Earth from a distant star. They are already thousands of years ahead of us in technology. And we would present no military challenge to such an advanced civilization. Now realize for the most part, there are lots of uninhabited planets with resources on them. So if they can reach the Earth, they can certainly reach other planets that are uninhabited. So for the most part, I think they're gonna leave us alone. But if, if one of them is hostile, watch out. We would be a pushover for them. Forget all the Hollywood movies. You, you also make the point, too, that um, if aliens ever did invade, it could be uh, an opportunity, a chance for countries, for nations to get together uh, when they see a, a common enemy. That's right. When President Ronald Reagan met Mikhail Gorbachev, Gorbachev was shocked, shocked out of his mind that Ronald Reagan said to him, you know, if the Martians ever invade the Earth, you and me would be allies in the fight against the Martians. Well, Gorbachev later wrote that he was floored by that comment. But you know something? Ronald Reagan was probably right. If we are ever invaded by the Martians or some advanced civilizations, we would hunker down. We would get together to fight off the Martians. And finally, um, you, you say you think that if we ever approach by extraterrestrials, it would be likely friendly because they would already have resources somewhere else in, in the universe. Uh, is, it, is it likely uh, that we would have common similarities uh, with any of these other beings based on your research and what you know about these other uh, bodies? Well, for the most part, I think they would leave us alone. If you're walking down a country road and you see an anthill, do you go down to the ants and say, I bring you trinkets, I bring you beads, I give you nuclear energy, or you just leave the ants alone? So I think that they, if they are that advanced, they're going to be peaceful. They will have had thousands of years to work out their internal problems of, of racism, fundamentalism, sectarianism. So I think for the most part, they will have had thousands of years to work out their internal differences. So I think they probably will be friendly, but we have to prepare for the possibility that they aren't.